one step at a time. What's going on my dudes, One Step here today to talk about the official reveal for Mortal Kombat 1 and their combat pack 1 that's got a lot of people's heads turning. They got heads turning, they got eyebrows raised, they got questions not being answered. There's a lot to go over, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first let me say that I just watched the trailer like two minutes ago, so I'm super hyped up and pumped up for it, but I'm gonna try to voice all of this as objectively as I possibly can, and without too much bias, because I love the game, I love the franchise, I love the characters, so let's talk about it. And as I say my piece, let me know down below what are your thoughts on the official combat pack one reveal from Nether Realms. As we get into it, let's talk about the elephant in the room. We got Homelander, Omni Man, Peacemaker. That alone in a single combat pack is insane. So we're getting six characters total, Ermac, Quan Chi, and Takeda being the other three. So literally 50%, half of the combat pack is gonna be guest characters, and I know that turns off a ton of people and honestly upsets quite a few of you. And though I can absolutely see your point, you gotta understand, and this is kind of, I'm trying to play the devil's advocate here, you gotta understand that Mortal Kombat is known, is absolutely known and more popular than most other fighting games for that reason, they're the game, they're the devs that are willing to take that leap and put guest characters in their game. Now, this isn't a Smash Brothers game. I know that what I'm saying is you don't see Homelander joining Street Fighter. You don't see freaking Omni-Man being in Tekken 8. You just don't see these things. And Mortal Kombat is really known for that. I know plenty of people that played Mortal Kombat X just because they wanted to play Alien and Predator. I know people that played Mortal Kombat 11 just because they wanted to play Robocop and Terminator and Rambo. And honestly, how cool is it? You can play play Robocop and absolutely obliterate somebody in a fighting game. You might not even be a big Mortal Kombat fan or a freaking fighting game fan, but you love Rambo. So you're gonna play Mortal Kombat 11 just so you can see what Rambo does in the game. So I get it. I would also love to see other Mortal Kombat characters come to Mortal Kombat 1 aside from guest characters, but at the same time, it's pretty cool. Now, to be fair, I don't know why they chose two Superman light characters like Homelander and Omni Man in the same not only the same combat pack, but the same game in general. I know they have different powers, but come on. They fly, they're super strength. Like you're just putting two Supermans. Like I really wanted two different kind of superheroes. And we got Peacemaker and that's gonna be super cool. And very interesting to see how they're gonna do their gameplay and make them. Cause here's the thing. If you're gonna put two similar characters like that in a single game, again, two Superman like characters. Well, now you have to make their gameplay, you know, so differently from each other that they're not just the same character. You know what I mean? So you gotta make Make sure that Omni Man feels a bit different than Homelander and you know vice versa. Otherwise, you kind of just wasted a character slot in my opinion. But either way, regardless of all that, I'm super pumped. I mean, honestly, it, Omni Man, Homelander, Peacemaker. So I'm a big super. You guys can see I'm a big, big superhero fan. I love it. So I can't believe we can't get Superman. We can't get Batman, Aquaman, Flash. We can't get these characters in a Mortal Kombat game because we're never going to get MK vs DC2 ever. Let alone to see fatalities and such and stuff like that. But we can see. Homelander absolutely destroy somebody and Omni Man obliterate everybody in the entire series. It's gonna look and feel so cool. I wish there was a better word than cool because it's gonna be amazing. And I'm trying to be optimistic here, obviously. Now to talk about the other characters, you know, we have Ermac, Quan Chi, and Takeda, which let's go in and start with Takeda. Man, am I excited we're getting Takeda. I was actually very surprised we never got Takeda in MK11 and we got Jackie and Cassie, but we were missing out on Kun Jin and Takeda. And I was like, they, they, I thought they were more popular in my personal opinion with my experience from MKX than you know uh, Cassie and, and Jackie. So the fact that they didn't bring those two back was a bit weird. So I, I'm also still, also now I'm still intrigued now that I just think about it, that we're getting Takeda, but as of right now of this recording, we're not getting Kun Jin in combat pack one just Akita, which i think he was a bit more popular than kunjin in general which which is totally cool i love them both but but we're getting to Kita. so from his game he was a new character in mkx so we only had that one game to go off of for his gameplay and how he is as a character but to see him in this game looks so good i'm very excited for Takeda, and i'm also very excited for ermac same ordeal we missed out on ermac for mk11 though we had him in mkx and actually the same thing goes for quan chi so yeah all the returning characters i just realized all the returning characters in mortal kombat franchise ermac quan chi and Takeda 
we missed out on an mk11 they're not returning mk11 characters they're characters we missed out on for an entire game and haven't had since mkx so really yeah we're getting takita ermac quan chi all from mkx missing out on mk11 that's okay that's pretty cool actually i'm not the biggest quan chi fan but i do respect him as a character and it's super cool to see him come back in the game you know being like the right hand man to shinnok which also begs the question if quan chi's here i mean i know he's dlc but like are we also going to get Shinnok then? And I know there's a ton of Ermac fans, a ton of Ermac fans out there that have been, you know, super stoked to see Ermac back in Mortal Kombat. And I totally agree. And I know there's actually already, the trailer came out like five minutes ago as of this recording. And there's already a ton of controversy on Twitter, on Reddit, over Ermac's design. And if you watch my reaction to it, I, I was also a bit like, oh, I mean, he was, it was just a bit weird. Let me start over. They all look amazing. They, they really do. Ermac was just the one that I was like just a bit iffy on. He doesn't look terrible. I'm not like mad about his design. I mean, honestly, all these characters, we have a whole new story for all of them. So there's gotta be some kind of new gimmick or story or background for Ermac. I know he's DLC, but we might see him in the main storyline as a background character, how he comes to be, and then he's DLC for later. So he still might be in the game when it comes to, you know, giving us his background and how he is as a character. Um, if not, then we're just getting him as a soul here you go kind of character here's him as he is for his design his moveset and whatever but but as a design standpoint it's really it's not my it's not my favorite but it's not terrible and i know a lot of people online are like freaking out about it. like oh ermac looks disgusting he looks terrible can we change ermac but i'm like bro it's a new game we're gonna get new designs new characters and let, let, let's go and be honest it's mortal kombat they're gonna do costume alternates they might do gear like they did before i doubt it but they'll still do some kind of skins for him so if you hate his original design just play his other skin but other than that, man, I thought it was crazy. They released the combat pack. They, they officially released it before we even understand and know all of the rest of the roster. Like we, I, like right now, we don't know the entire Mortal Kombat one roster, especially with the cameos. And now they're just gonna throw out this combat pack one. It's like, what the freak? And again, I know that half the combat pack is guest characters, but again, you gotta understand that since MK9, since they've been doing this whole thing, they've been they've been kind of known for doing guest characters we got kratos we got freddy in mk9 and alien predator leatherface and whatever for mkx you get the idea they, they they're gonna do guest characters i i i can't believe like i would be more shocked if they didn't do guest characters they, they on that's going to be honest they make more money by doing guest characters they, they they just do if you're not a mortal kombat fan but you absolutely love the boys you love invincible you love dc which i'm a big dc fan you're gonna want to play these characters so how do you play them well you go you go buy the game and you play the characters and then you get hooked on it that's how they sell more and that's how they bring in new players which again i'm all for so i think overall i'm gonna say that i am very excited for this combat pack i mean honestly i'm pumped for the guest characters and again i know you can always complain and say like oh i wish where are all the other 3d era characters why do we have so many guest characters you see what i'm saying you could always complain about it but at the end of the day complaining ain't gonna change it so let's go ahead and accept what we got and this is what we got and i'm pumped for it i'm a bit biased as i said i love heroes you can tell but these are just my thoughts guys let me know down below what are your thoughts like what do you think what are you feeling about this combat pack one about homelander omniman peacemaker ermac quan chi taquita what are your thoughts on these characters? Let me know down below. If you want more of the best fighting game content on YouTube, make sure to subscribe here because we have new videos Monday and Friday, if not more often. Click into this video next and take it one step at a time.